In this video, I am going to teach you how and when you should or should not use a GMRS repeater, something that takes less than 30 seconds to explain, but I am going to drag it out for at least eight minutes so that YouTube will let me jam another advertisement into the middle of the video, and then I'm going to wait until the very end before I give you any actual information. So be sure to watch until the very end because I think so little of you that I think you are stupid enough to actually watch the entire video. But first, because apparently I think everyone watching is too stupid to understand how YouTube works, please mash that like button and be sure to hit that subscribe button because my channel sucks and if I don't beg, nobody would ever subscribe. And of course, since I assume you are too dumb to understand how YouTube works, don't forget to click that notification bell so I can get as many views as possible on all of my future videos that will no doubt suck just as hard as this one. Okay, have you done all of the tricks that I just told you to do for me? Good boy, then let's get right into it. Whoever told all of those other YouTubers to do it that way, lied. One of the single biggest questions that many people ask in the comments on my videos and on my website and via email, and the single one thing that many people seem to be very confuculated over is why would I need to use a repeater and why not just use a repeater all the time? My friend, the answer to that single question is very simple. Allow me to elaborate. A repeater, as you probably already know, and if you do not know, you are about to learn, is nothing more than a fancy radio, usually with a very large antenna and usually located somewhere such as atop a very high mountain. This allows the repeater to receive signals from many fars away and then retransmit or repeat those signals many more fars away. When used properly, a repeater may allow you to talk with someone a hundred miles of fars away or more from the comfort of your couch whilst using something like this inexpensive handheld walkie-talkie radio. However, there are times when using a repeater would not only be inappropriate, but it would also be unnecessary. Allow me to elaborate. Normally, when talking with your friends over your radio, be it on a handheld walkie-talkie radio or on a mobile radio in your mobile mobile, you would talk to each other in simplex mode. Allow me to elaborate. Simplex mode simply means direct radio to radio on the same channel basically the way you normally would talk with someone over a radio. If you are close enough to your friend and if your signals are clear, then there is no need to use a repeater to talk to each other because in such a case, using a repeater would be a waste of the repeater, which as you may or may not know, but are about to learn, is a finite, finite resource that only one person can use at a time to talk with only one other person at a time. So if you are able to talk with your friend without the use of a repeater, which, as we just learned, is a finite, finite resource, then as a member of our civil society, you should yield the repeater to someone else and not waste its RF electricities, which, as I just mentioned only a moment ago, is a finite, finite resource. However, if your friend is many fars away, for example, if your friend is on the other side of a large mountain range and you cannot reach your friend on Simplex, which, as I just explained, is direct radio to radio, if you cannot reach your friend direct radio to radio, and if there happens to be a repeater at the top of that mountain range that sits between you and your friend, then this would be an appropriate use case for making use of said repeater to talk with your friend. Allow me to elaborate. 
I don't really know what the word elaborate means. But let us not get hung up on meanings and definitions because the point here is that before you and your friend can make use of said repeater, you and your friend must first both be aware that the repeater is there and where it is in relationship to each other. You must both be within range of said repeater and you must both not only know the frequency and tone required to make use of the repeater, but that frequency and tone must also be correctly programmed upon both of your radios. What I am saying is, if you do not need to use a repeater and you are able to talk with your friend directly, radio to radio, then please, for the love of Xenu, just do that. <laughs>